may makau. Hindi mahadlok. Sa ukod ang isla ng uno sa mga kalbel sa iya. Art thou afeard? Be not afeard. The isle is full of noises. Sounds and sweet airs that give delight. And hurt not. Sometimes a thousand twangling instruments will hum about my ear, and sometimes voice that, if I had waked after long sleep, will make me sleep again. And then, in dreaming, the clouds me thought would open and show riches ready to drop upon me. That when I waked, I cried. To dream again. Anoraila, kiala hoa e ha o vali wau i ka moi moi a. They say that those who came before us can talk to us in dreams. I don't dream very often. I wish I did. In my waking life, I dream of lands that my ancestors came from: Okinawa, Japan, Korea, Portugal. The Philippines, Hawaii. I don't know any of these dances in full. That's part of the pain and part of the joy. To be these many things and not know much else beyond knowing that I had ancestors from these lands. I'm not trying to be perfect or act or put on a show with these movements. I don't want to make another pretty thing in this pretty place in these pretty islands. If I did, you wouldn't get my message. Of course, we need some room for vanity and spectacle. When I started out on this journey, I was really interested in researching the ins and outs of this estate about cultures different from me. I borrowed books from the library here, read about the end of the Safavid dynasty, about musical mimicry groups uh, performing in Isfahan tea houses. I had this ambition of incorporating what I learned about Persian theater and. The details of the architecture and the history over here. These arches are Spanish in background. All of that reading and research was really interesting, but what remained in my heart and imagination was that I'm an islander, descended from other islanders. Growing up. My only interactions with this place was from the outside, in the ocean, with friends looking up, wondering what was caged above, inaccessible, beautiful, not for us. I learned recently about how Doris Duke had a fascination, an appreciation for all these cultures, and crammed all these things she found together in this Orientalist palace. And then I thought, am I like this place? A bunch of different ethnicities crammed into one entity, maybe, but I'm also not. Patulugan oli ako kag sa akon dalangguhanon ang mga panganon sa akon unak-unak magabri. I have ancestors who knew, on an intimate level, the feeling of saudade, the joy of kachashi, the flavors of Korea, the sounds of sikihor, the mana. Of Paul, I want to know these things too. Anyway, now it's time for a song. Entertainment, entertainment, endless escapism entertainment. Don't you love it? Don't you want this exotic, elegant, tropical bliss? It's so thrilling. It's so calming. We got anything you need. We're at your beck and calling. It's fulfilling. We're all killing ourselves for happy coconut hungry howlies. Bend it over backward. Malihini are marauding. 
Now they're applauding. Applause, applause. Oh, oh Halo. What a lovely little owl. Well, why? It's appalling. Their head over heels got the hots for us. Fire walking. Yes. Entertainment is all you need. It's what us local live and breathe. Entertainment they demand give us four. Won't you be our vile why he whores? Entertainment, entertainment, it's got a sight, so we enter life, sensationalize, after the fact, after mental sort of life, quality, entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. These images are not the best quality. They're taken by my phone, and they're memories of places I've built Pilina with. Some of that Pilina is with Ohana. Again, I don't want to make another pretty thing, this pretty place, and these pretty islands. These images remind me of a Hawaii beyond diamond head postcards, macadamia nuts, and luau dinners, and the hospitality industry. These pictures remind me of where I come from. A Hawaii that is more than a paradise, a Shangri-La. A Hawaii that is more than a dream. A Hawaii that is home.